Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making this gorgeous dress with frills at the bottom in Blender. So take your model and put it into faces mode in edit view and then highlight the torso area on the left side of the model, duplicate those vertices or those faces and then use control P to make it a separate object. Now just clearing up the vertices around the bottom and along the center line and taking out the belly button vertices as well and then re replacing the faces using extrusions and adding new faces and now smoothing those out a bit so that they're even. Now I'm clearing up the neckline, taking out some vertices and now I'm going to stagger it so it's slightly stepped by taking out some faces which I'll then smooth by adding two new faces. So I've taken out the ones I don't need and I'm now making these triangular shaped face um, quad polygons. <laughs> I'm just giving this a new material just so we can see it better and now I'm going to add a mirror modifier so I have a full dress on both sides and I'm mirroring it from an empty which is at the world origin. I've selected the bottom vertices and I've extruded those and then scaled them downwards and outwards. I'm just resizing the bottom so it's even now and I'm going to remove half of the uh, dress again and even out the vertices a bit more and then replace the mirror modifier. So I only have to do this once, I don't need to do it on both sides and both sides will be mirror images of each other. I'm using the Make Sphere tool or Sphericize to make it a bit rounder and now I'm re-adding the mirror modifier once again. So it's all even and it's uh, it's identical on each side. Now I'm just scaling it outwards a bit more so that it sits outside of the body and pulling out some of the vertices around the hips so that they sit a bit better using proportional editing to pull them out. So there, that's the basic shape. And now I'm going to hide the torso vertices and work directly with the skirt. I'm going to even out the vertices at the top of the skirt area using scaling on the Z axis. And now I'm just moving that and shaping it a bit more. So now I'm going to use checker deselect to select just a few of the vertices at the bottom and I'm then going to scale these and move them upwards as well. I'm using Alt Scale, which is scaling along the normals. And I'm then going to shape, generally shape them and add some edge loops, some loop cuts. And now I'm using, I'm adding more loop cuts around the edges on either side of the peaks of these folds that we just made. This will help to round out the shape so it's not like it doesn't just look like a triangle. It'll look a bit more like fabric. So I'm just adding these loop cuts and selecting the lowest vertices of those and then scaling them using Alt Scale along the normals and then a normal scale and then moving them up, upwards or downwards according to how you, you want them to look really. So that's it looks a bit better now. And I'm just shaping the whole of the skirt area now. And I'll go into sculpt mode and use the grab tool at some point now, yes. Um, I think I just applied all the scales using Alt G, Alt A, or Control A. And now I'm using the grab tool. And I'm going to sculpt the vertices, the, um, po the polygons now. So that it looks more like a skirt 
and it falls evenly over her body. So as we added extra loop cuts to form the folds, we now have n-gons which we need to remove. So I'm first of all joining them with diagonal edge, edge, edges <laughs> that meet at the top. And I'm doing that all around the skirt. And now I'm removing the edges between the the new diagonal edge loops that we just added. And that produces a four-sided shape with four vertices, which is what we need in modeling, not n-gons, which are multi-vertices um, multi faces. Now, we need to now add new faces where we've just reduced the vertices and I just removed those, removed the, they were double before, double, sorry, one face going across the whole of a, that, an L-shaped area. So I removed those faces and now I'm replacing them with individual faces. Now I'm just hiding the ends of the sleeves and then using proportional editing to create a puffed sleeve effect by scaling it with proportional editing and rotating it on the Y direction so that it sits in the, at the right angle. So now it looks a bit more puffy and I'm going to shape these using the grab tool in sculpt, in sculpt mode. So that just helps to make it look a bit more natural and fit the body a bit more correctly. So use doing modeling and sculpting at the same time is really good for creating shapes in Blender. I'm not sure if other programs allow you to do that. I'm, I'm sure they do, but that's one of the good things about Blender, I think, that you can use both sculpting and modeling. Now I'm just adding an edge loop at the base of the puff to create that crease where there would be a seam and just moving some of the vertices that's almost done it looks nice already we haven't finished yet though so I'm just shaping the puffs a bit more making them look nice and now I'm going to add some some detail to the puffs so that it, they have a few more creases first of all I'm going to add some different colors to the to the band around the base so that it's nice and purple <laughs> and now I'm going to add a f uh, first of all I'm changing the neckline by using the nudge tool in the sculpting mode I'm just nudging the vertices and edges so that I can shape the neckline into something a little bit more attractive and now I'm adding more detail to the puffs. So these are supposed to resemble um, creases, um, but they're very sort of basic creases. Uh, I don't, um, a puffed sleeve wouldn't necessarily crease in this way, um, but it's better to have something rather than nothing, just to give it a bit more detail so it's not just a smooth puff, because that actually looks unnatural. So um, I'm just using the beveled, tool control B selecting some edges and hitting control B and then if you use the middle mouse wheel that will give you the amount of detail within the bevel and how many edges are within it and I just have three so there's a center edge loop and then two either side and then I take the center edge loops and I scale them in, in, along the normals using alt scale and then I adjust the triangular point removing some one of the edges at the end as well. I hope that makes sense. You can put this on slow motion to watch exactly what I do. So now I'm just taking the skirt area of the dress and I'm going to duplicate it using Shift D and then scale that duplicated section or copy, scale it inwards and then move it downwards slightly. I'm, I duplicate it twice, I think. So 
so this is like a frilly sort of petticoat I guess underneath the dress so scaled inwards along normals and then moved downwards in the Z axis and I'm now going to give them the same purple colour that I made the little cuffs of the sleeves and I'm going to add a solidify modifier so it doesn't look like it's just a single layer of fabric and that actually changes the way Blender shades the garment as well which is almost an error in shading which you can um, remove uh, just fiddling with some of the some of the points of light now I'm just adding my seams for when we UV unwrap this I'm not going to be texture painting in this tutorial but this is just if you want to texture paint it you can UV unwrap it and you have a nice flat flat version of the dress that you can texture paint so I'm just going to UV unwrap it here and there you have it that's a flat version of the dress which you can paint any color you want just moving some of these pieces so that they sit nicely and so that's our dress our cute dress which was very simple to make really easy so thanks for watching the tutorial and i hope you have a go at making this dress yourself yourselves i'd love to see it okay bye bye